So what Mega Motors decided to do was create a product called One Star Fleet Magic. And One Star Fleet Magic is a custom application intended for fleet operators or fleet managers and small businesses so that they can come in and see what the state of their vehicles are from a maintenance standpoint, from a driver performance standpoint, and so on. And this custom application was built by the Mega Motors Corporation on their own. It didn't require Exceeded to be involved at all. So here we see the one star application. The fleet, man, uh, the fleet Magic application, and when I log in, and by the way, this is being hosted right from the uh, um, Exceda 6 platform. And when I come into this application, it's designed to show the kind of things that a fleet manager would want. Because each one of these vertical markets that we deal with, everybody has their own um, unique vocabulary, their own KPIs, and they want to see information in a certain way. So here's just one example of how that could be done. In the upper left-hand corner, we've got information about the vehicles in my fleet. Lower corner here, I've got different alarms that have come in uh, over time. I can also look at these alarms just over the last uh, week or so and see what's been going on. And then a couple of pie charts just to kind of show off some dashboard type things so you can, you know, uh, status at a glance uh, type things. Now, if I select a particular um, vehicle, I can drill in on it and look at the more information about it. And we just happen to build an extra little whiz bang here so that I can click over here on the right and now scroll through a list of uh, devices. And by the way, every time I click on something here, it's going back to the platform and bringing this information uh, into the application. So I'm scrolling through. I'm looking for one. I need one with some alarms. OK, here we go, uh, VIN 5. So I can see some alarms that have occurred over time. Looks like there's a speeding alarm and an OBD kind of thing and some readings that have come in. I can click on the alarms page for this one. Again, see a historical trend or, or plot of, of when alarms occurred and what types of alarms have occurred, that kind of thing. See. Oh, a phone call. Wow. <laughs> Let's try this again. Let me answer this. Hello, speedy delivery. This is an automated voice message from the Axida platform. An alarm has occurred for us at Linda. Vehicle door is open while en route. Okay, so what did that just do? It called me and said, hey, there's a problem. It says there was a door open on one of the vehicles en route, which could mean that someone is breaking into the vehicle, or it could mean there's some kind of fraud or employee theft going on, or it just could mean that somebody forgot to close the door when they drove out of the, the, the uh, delivery. So if we come and look at fleet location, we can get a map of all my vehicles and what's going on out there. I'm going to turn the drivers off just to cut down the distraction a little bit. And um, we can see different alarms on the system. And here's the one that just reported, vehicle door is open while en route. So if I drill in a little bit, we can take a look at where it is. And one of the things that we notice is, OK, it's not at one of the uh, loading docks. And by the way, how do we know where the loading docks are? Well, we use the geofence feature, so another one of the location services that's been added. And these geofences are these little green areas. And we put a geofence. They can be polygons or circles. We put them around the different store locations or around the delivery uh, area so that we can know when a uh, truck is at a store or at the uh, warehouse. We also put one around South Beach down here because we really don't want our truck, guy, uh, the guys driving our trucks to head down to South Beach in the trucks. They can go later, but uh, not when they're driving one of our cars. By the way, just you know, other types of alarms that we may want to keep track of are like speeding, uh, for example, or onboard diagnostic codes. So speaking of drivers, turn our drivers back on here. They're in blue. You think about it, the truck is an asset, obviously. We get that. But what about the drivers? Well, especially what do we do when we have a different driver who's taking the uh, truck out every day? So a different guy gets handed a set of keys. Here's a route. Go drive it. Well, using another feature in Exceed 6 called associations, we have the ability to take information from the truck associate it to a driver while they're in control of that truck and take information and pass it through and store it in the driver's record. So now we have a separate record that's just talking about the driver, or that's just containing history about the driver. So I'm going to go to the driver report, run the report here, and uh, need to sort it by date to get the latest ones at the top. So we can see we were testing with Linda this morning. But what we can quickly see is, okay, who's been abusing 
the equipment, who's been speeding, who hasn't been following the rules, who's been taking too long on their, uh, their routes. There's a lot of different things that this information about the user of the equipment is just, could be just as valuable or more valuable to us than the information about the truck itself. So uh, with that, I'll turn it back to Dave. He can give you a little more insight into how we, uh, how we were able to do all of that really in less than a week. Thanks, Randy. So first and foremost, custom, custom applications, custom RIA applications hosted directly in our platform. So this is a Flash application. It's actually being served directly from uh, Exceda. Very simple. You go into our platform. And this is going to be, you know, the basic platform services are available to you in the interfaces you're used to from ServiceLink, um, generally in the administration and configuration forms. One place here you'll see uh, standalone applications. So I create the Flash application in this case, uh, and I just go ahead and upload it directly to the platform. I configure what is the, the URL I'm using to host this platform, and off we go. So we can see a few applications. This one star application at slash app slash one star is what we're running today. So create your application targeted for your business user, upload it directly to the platform, and, and off you go. Another feature we demonstrated are state machines. So this is the idea of we're going to take a set of expression rules and apply them against the data that we're receiving based on the current state of, in this case, the vehicle. So we had four states here, distribution, at the distribution center, on route, returning, or at the, at the destination. And this, again, standard uh, configuration app. And I'll come in and uh, whoever picked this green color, it's kind of hard to read. Is that you, Randy? No. <laughs> okay. I've made that clear already. <laughs> <laughs> so I can see here, I, I have in our user interface uh, a state machine called Fleet with these same four states that we just showed on the PowerPoint slide. If I drill in, I can see the actual rules configured in our system that Randy mentioned. So rule number one, check door open. This only checks when I'm on route. So I don't care if the door is open at the loading dock. It's supposed to be open. That's what I'm, that's what I'm doing with the truck. I'm, I've got the door open. I'm unloading it. But you see here in the expression rule UI, very simple, just right through the platform, point and click, no programming available. I just came in here and I said, OK, if door open is true, then I'm going to go ahead and create this alarm, say the door is open. Um, furthermore, I'm going to do a notification on that alarm where I'm going to call an external cloud-based service called Twilio, which we picked for the purpose of demonstrations. Twilio is just a, a cloud-based notification engine. So that was a service we used to make the cell phone ring and, uh, and Randy have his nice dialogue. So very simple interface through service link or through our uh, uh, platform configuration and administration portal to build expression rules, to build state machines and configure them and configure your any custom integrations. You also notice Randy showed geofences. So similar built into the platform, you can create geofences. Uh, you can do those uh, based on a point with a radius. You can do any arbitrary polygon. And you can use a set of built-in rules and actions against those polygons. So I want to know when someone's entered, entered a region or left a region or is in a region for too much time. Um, as well as, again, access those from the, from the custom extensions. And the third feature Randy showed was associations. Very powerful feature. I have a point where I'm collecting data. I've got sensors, maybe numerous sensors. And I want to associate that data with different things. In this case, of course, we wanted to know what's going on with the truck. We want to know if there's been hard braking on that truck. We want to know how much idle time has been used on that truck. We want to know if there's been speeding on the truck, whatever. Whatever we're looking for on that truck, we want to understand it and be able to look at that truck in the system and know what's been occurring. But we also care, in this case, about our drivers. So we take the information that we've collected about speed and associate that with the driver. You know, hard braking information, we associate with that, with, with that driver. You know, what it, how is the driver operating my fleet as far as um, you know, how much uh, idle time he's using in the system? So we built these associations so I can take and forward data to whatever makes sense in the context of how the system is being used. So in this case, I want the data with the truck, and I want the data with the user. <laughs>